Hi everybody, it's Christina. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a plan with me using a mini kit from Planner Problem. I did this entire week spread just using this mini kit. I thought it would be a good way to show you guys how a mini kit can actually take you quite a long ways in case if you're trying to save money and all that. So first I'm going in with the bottom washi, which I struggled to get straight <laughs> very hard. <laughs> and I, this kit is a spring kit, I believe. I can't remember the name of it. I'll have it linked down below. I also have a coupon code for 10% off if you're interested in that as well. So I kind of did this as a semi-lean, no white space, semi-white space planning week. I put down all of the full boxes in the middle row. And she also has the option to get this kit with glitter headers, but that is an additional cost. So I really was trying to show you how the lowest cost kit can actually give you an entire week spread. And I love the colors of this kit. I think the blues and the pinks and the greens just sound, sound wow, look so amazing together. And so after I put those down, I'm going in and putting down my to-do headers and today headers and little things headers and I just put them where the headers already are on the days. Um, sorry I have been missing so many plan with me's lately. I'm just getting back into the swing of um, filming and finding time for it with my new job. Uh, it is something that I really do enjoy doing though and sharing with you guys so I'm trying to fit it into my schedule a lot more. Uh, this is a rewind plan with me so I believe this is from May 15th to May 21st. So it has been almost a month since these plans actually happened. Um, also, let me know if you guys like me to fill out my plan with me's. And also, if I should stop doing voiceover plan with me's. Uh, yeah, I can never decide on what everybody wants to see from me. So your feedback would be really nice. Um... Sorry this part is going by so slow, I kind of forgot to double speed up the boring fundamental stuff of this week's kit. I usually will do a four times speed through of the headers and whatnot because, let's be real, it's very repetitive and kind of boring to watch. Oh, I'm talking so fast, I'm out of breath, and I don't even know why I'm talking so fast because there's nothing to catch up with. <laughs> um... So, Planner Problem is actually a newer shop. Uh, she started out as a blog where she had free printables. Then she opened up a shop to sell templates, and now she sells printed stickers as well. She has a lot of multicolored items as well as some kits, so be sure to check her out. Nora is super nice and very helpful. So... Now I'm going in with these heart checklists and I'm just alternating colors on each day to make my to-do lists. And after this week of planning, I kind of want to always use heart checklists and not ombre heart checklists. And I never thought that I would say that, but I kind of like how it breaks up the day and have more white space. But I'll probably go back to ombre heart checklists uh, fairly quickly because that's just what I'm used to planning with. <laughs> Um, then I'm going in to do my sidebar. So I put down the quote box that says, Earth laughs with flowers. And I think that that's a super cute and unique quote. Usually when a kit involves flowers, it's like, stop and smell the flowers or something like that. And don't get me wrong, I love those quotes, but I think it's really fun when a shop uses a unique quote. Uh, then I'm using the uh, habit tracker that came with the kit. And then a dinner's header with an ombre weekly. Uh, this week header with an ombre weekly and a to buy header with a heart checklist and I just overlapped the to buy header over the top heart of the heart checklist so that it would all fit and I didn't have to take out my scissors because always looking for the shortcut in things um, <laughs> so uh, I forgot what I was going to tell you guys um, oh this is also on glossy paper so I'm sorry if the lights are kind of reflecting off of the paper. Um, I still haven't found the best lighting setup, and I'm trying to use natural lighting, 
but I can't seem to find a good place with the right surface to do that. So next I'm taking one of the meal little things and placing it on Monday. I was out of town this whole week for work, so not a lot happened, so it was also kind of a nice uh, week to use just a mini kit and not bring in any other stickers. Um, then I'm going through and finding out what TV shows I had this week. So I had two TV shows on Monday and I put those down. And then I put uh, my TV show for Tuesday and Wednesday as well. And also one on Thursday. So this was a pretty TV filled week. And actually with the mini kit she includes um, enough TVs that I still had three left over after that. So... That's pretty good, right? Then I put down a half box on Monday to mark that I went to dinner with somebody. Moving on to Tuesday, I'm putting down a stitched label with the laptop icon that I totally put down crooked. Oh, just kidding. I did this appointment label first with like, and a quarter box. And then on the today section, I put down a stitched label label with a laptop because I forgot what I did that day. I don't know, I have it written down in my other planner. I didn't write out my plans because it always takes so long. Um, next, moving on to Wednesday, I put down a half box but vertically with the little gas symbol because I drove like 400 miles that day so it took up a good majority of the day. And then I stacked up some little things. I put two asterisks and one meal to mark my midweek post. Um, I FaceTimed somebody, my meal, and also my TV show. And then I had an awkward little gap, but as I looked at the whole week spread, it doesn't look that weird, so I'm going to leave it like that. <laughs> Moving on to Thursday, I put down a half box in the night. And then I put down a meal little thing and also a stitch label with a planner because I bought a new planner for work. It's always been a good excuse to have to buy a new planner, am I right? Um, moving on to Friday, I put down a half box and then I put down two appointment labels and then I overlapped the airplane icon on those because I had two flights that night. And then a stitched label with a book icon. <coughs> And, uh, yeah, why I should have made this faster, I'm sorry guys. Um, moving on to the weekend, I'm going to put down my weekend banner. Oh, just kidding, I went back to Thursday. Um, I'm going to put down my weekend banner now, and it's just a pretty simple weekend banner, and I like that I can line it up fairly easy. Um, then I put down a half box in Saturday night with a heart because I had a sleepover, and then a stitch label, and also I put down a half box on Saturday, and a quarter box on Sunday, as well as two asterisk little things, and a half box with the cleaning bottle. So I hope you guys enjoyed this plan with me. Be sure to check out Planner Problem. Uh, you'll also see how many stickers I had left just using this mini kit alone. So her kits are a really great value and can make you go and have a full week of decoration for a lot lower price. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!